sport beer from a brewery that's been brewing in the centre of Munich since 1328. And today we have a bottle of Augustina Brow Idle Stoff coming in at 5.6% ABV. Now, the Idle Stoff, they actually call it, I don't know if you can see that on there. There we go. The Export Beer. Um, I can't find out why they call it the Export Beer. So if any German people are watching this, Please comment below and let me know why they call this the export beer. Um, because I don't see it on the shelves of supermarkets in the UK for starters. So, yeah, I don't know what this means. Um, I can't find anything out about it. So, I would like to know if, if someone would let me, kind enough to let me. But, um, yeah, it's 1328 Augustina. And I actually started um, brewing... Uh, in a monastery, believe it or not, the older Augustinian monks, and they were there for nearly 500 years until um, sort of 1800s got sort of. I think the monastery was a bit of a um, disrepair and they got moved um, into a new house of Strass and have been there ever since. Um, they were the place was badly damaged in the war, got sort of rebuilt, and it's still there. And yeah, it's, it's, quite, it's quite fantastic actually. Um, in my opinion, Augustina is my favourite um, brewery out of the big six in Munich. Um, you know, um, if you were to put them alongside your Lohenbrau, your, your Paulina, your Spartan, your Hacker Porsche, um, it's it's my favourite, you know. It, it, I think they do the best Hells, the best the best Vizen, um, but that's just my opinion, uh, you know. So let's crack this open, and see what delights this has to offer. Hey, I'm expecting a lot from this because it's my favourite brewery in Munich. Um, I just hope it doesn't disappoint. Tell you one of the hardest things to get hold of though is an Augustina brow glass. Not very easy to get hold. It's the only one I have missing out of my collection. Um, lucky enough, I've got the older the Munich beer Oktoberfest beer museum glass. But um, yeah, uh, I think it it might be a case of next time I'm in Munich, do my usual. And just have to sort of go to Augustina Brow and spend an evening in there, and at the end of the night, ask them if I can, I can buy a glass. Um, yeah, it's really, really hard to get hold of, you know. Or any ones that I see on the internet that are so like really, really priced up, you know. Um, anyway, look at that lovely um, straw clear. Beer. Plenty of carbonation there. A nice one and a half finger white frothy head. Um, let's get the aromas. Oh, it really smells fresh. Oh, it smells of sort of, you know, fresh, fresh. Cut grass, um, there's a real, there's a fruitiness is there as well there. Oh, it smells really, really, that's like, it's really, really fresh, it's fruity, there's a hint of lemon, a sort of white pepper type smell there. It, it smells divine. Um, it really, really does. It's it's sort of 
it's got a similar sort of aroma to to a Hell's um, and that sort of thing but it seems a bit more enhanced if you know what I mean so let's dive in and give it a try, cheers oh it's very very bready that's the malts but it's this fruitiness is still there and oh, try to put your finger on what, what the actual fruitiness is the carbonation is nice as well as you can see it's not overly carbonated but in the mouth there's enough there to sort of push it round making your tongue tingle dance around um the malt's in a bit it's giving it a bit of a sticky feel um it's it's a lot it's a lot different if you have the, the hells the augustina hells to this it's totally look if you was to put them side by side in a glass they'd look the same but i tell you what this is this 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 beer is better than the hells in my opinion it's sweet it's multi um it's crisp it's refreshing this is a fantastic beer. I, I, I'm really, really impressed. I'm just gutted, is it? You know, they're calling it the export beer. Why aren't it in Tesco's? Why aren't it in Morrison's? Why aren't it in Sainsbury's? Why aren't these supermarkets exporting this into the UK and selling it to us? You know, even Lidl's. Lidl's and Aldi, you know, get your act together, get this beer, this is absolutely fantastic. I actually think if this was on the shelves, supermarket shelves, at the right price of bottle, um, I think it would outsell any other beers in its range. Now, you know, I'm not talking Fosters and Carlsberg and Carlin. You know, if this was on the shelves, you know, up against your your Warsteiners, uh, I think what else we got on the shelves at the moment? Um, your Pearl and Backers, your Crom Backers. You know, that sort of when they're sort of charging sort of 182 quid a bottle, um, those sort of lagers you can buy, you know, your big bottles of Heineken, your your amp stools, um, that that sort of range of beers that you go and walk and see in your supermarkets, you know, your Cobras, uh, um, I'm just trying to think of the ones you sort of, a lot of them I walk past because I don't want to drink them, like, you know, but uh, it, it, you get my gist. This would outsell them, it's fantastic. I keep sort of thinking to myself, am I being biased because Augustina is my favourite Munich brewery? But no, I'm not. You know, I'll, I'm one of these people, I see it how it is, and I say it how it is. And this is just, this is just, it's Moorish. It's so Moorish. Um, I could quite easily drink this all night long quite easily it's sessionable yeah it, you know if i go back the worst one is if i go back to munich which i probably will and go to augustina brow 
this is all I want to drink. And I bet you, I bet you, I don't have it on tap in the actual Augustina Brow because this is export. I'd love to know what this export bit, export beer means. It's, it's, it's got me puzzled here because I've never seen it on tap anywhere. Um, I picked up this bottle, believe it or not. I picked up the bottle in Cologne. Uh, I've never seen a bottle of it in Munich. So is it something which yeah, they only export out of Munich to other areas of Germany? I don't know. Um, this bottle, you know, it's hard, you think it's a half litre bottle. Right, that cost out of a bottle shop in Cologne, in the centre of Cologne, right, and that cost about £1.20. Silly money. £1.20. You know, you think you're in the centre of Cologne. Um, these shops, these bottle shops sell all the old sort of, you know, um, I love Cologne t-shirts and I love Cologne hats and, and stuff like that, you know. And yet, they have these fridges and the beers in there, just the bottles of beer in there are so cheap. Now, you think of, like, in England, like London, a shop like that in London, you know, I, I love London t-shirts and hats and they have a fridge in there and you want to buy yourself a beer. Christ, you're paying, you're paying nearly pub prices for it. Uh, but, this is just fantastic. Um... This is probably the best lager I've ever had. It is, definitely, yep. I wish I brought back more bottles. I've got the taste for it now. It's gutting, it's gutting, that's all I've got left. And this is so good. Um, Augustina Brow, I just, this is, this, you know, this is a big five out of five from me. Uh, look, uh, please, 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 sort yourself a bottle of this. You're not gonna be disappointed. Um, I don't know how you're going to source one, because it's like the export beer that I've never seen exported anywhere. Um, go online, just get a bottle, you know, uh, treat yourself. I don't know, I haven't even looked, I'm really sorry, I haven't even looked of how you can get yourself a bottle of this. But go online, consider it like a treat at the beginning of the month or whatever when you get paid well, treat yourself to a bottle of this um, you know the, the postage might be as much as the the bottle of beer but seriously if if you like beer and if you like lagers and you want something really really good get a bottle of this honestly it is or don't make the mistake of getting a bottle like I did get a few bottles because You'll find, as soon as you start drinking it, it's one of these beers you're going to want another, and another, and another. Um, hats off to Augustina Brow for this. Um, look, source yourself a bottle. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you think of it. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Hit that little bell. Get notified every time I bring out a new review. And, of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night.